Okay, let's check out this dodgy little power supply and see uh, what the sort of state of that capacitor is. I'm going to disconnect these rather attractive lights because I have no great desire to blow them up. I think I may reuse the connector though. And let's pop this open, pull out the circuit board and get that capacitor off. The bulgy capacitor. So let's see. Desoldering wick. I'll pick up the right stuff this time. I'll pick up the rapid electronics stuff, not the uh, odd stuff. I think that might have just have been generic Chinese and it just didn't really have the sort of flux to it. It wasn't really taking the solder up too well. So I'm just going to flow a bit of solder on here. Oh, the capacitor has just dropped out. That's handy. And I shall clean those pads because the capacitor may be going in again. Maybe the crimp, you know, maybe going in again in the wrong polarity. So uh, that looks relatively clean. So let's take a look at this capacitor. Now let's check it with a capacitor tester. It's supposed to be 2.2 microfarad. So let's set this to 20 microfarad and we'll put this in the negative terminal and this in positive terminal. 1.2 megafarad, it's lost some of its its capacitance somewhat. Let's also test it on this little unit here. So am I going to be able to shove these leads in? Might have to hold it across the SMD lead uh, position. So I'll just sit that there. Hopefully this will make a good connection. It says 1.8 thousand nanofarads, so 1.8 microfarad, but it's showing the equivalency resistance as 81 ohms, which is quite high. This is a generic little tester off eBay, by the way. Um, it's just a component tester. There's a newer version of it that's even got an even bigger display and does even more uh, analytics. It's very impressive, actually. It works quite well. Hmm. So uh, I shall put this out of the way at the moment. And maybe we should just stick this capacitor in the other way around. Do you think it'd work better the other way around? So there's the positive there. So we'll stick the, the band over that side. I'm sure that there's no harm in doing this. It's probably quite normal procedure. And I shall re-solder it. And then we'll plug it in and see how it fares. because you guys apparently wanted to see it go bang, which is reasonable enough. So that's it soldered back in. Incorrectly not, it seemed to really matter. It still had a good go at going bang before. I'll tweak this LED, d no I won't actually, I'll leave the LED back a bit just in case smoke does come out because that'll give it somewhere to go. The LED hole, just like it did before. Uh, and we'll sit this down. Part of me is tempted to leave the case kind of uh, partially unscrewed or just unscrewed completely but that would kind of take the fun out of it. I want to see what actually happens when it really brews up inside. So let's get that back in and we'll clip that back on. Pop the screw in and this socket here with this dodgy adapter is not live yet because I don't wish this to explode in my hands. I've had that happen before. I had a power supply explode in my hands. It's a good time for the washing machine to go full tilt, isn't it? If you hear it in the background. So I'm just going to tilt this up. Now, the question is, uh, I'll just make sure this is off before I plug this in. That's it plugged in, uh, and I'm just going to turn it on shortly. The question is, should I try it with different lighting? Because uh, if it goes bang and sparks and flames come out, then sometimes the high lighting above the bench means it doesn't really catch it. So I'm just going to try different lighting here. Is that going to be... I think that's reasonable enough. Right, and we'll see if the little red LED comes on. Are you ready? Three, two, one.
that was rubbish. <sighs> That's not good enough. I'm going to have to modify this power supply to make it more exciting. Out with the old and in with the new. So uh, I've now replaced the, the seemingly indestructible capacitor that just squirts vapour out every so often with 470 microfarad, 25 volt in the wrong polarity. So that should do it. Uh, let's, is this even going to fit in now? It's quite big. Oh, I should have thought of that. Is it going to fit? Is it going to fit? Oh, it's tight. It fits. Took a bit of pressure, but it fits. Uh, so we'll just pop that up and I'll probably leave the light on at full intensity, though the lights may go out if it takes out the main fuse. Who knows? I don't know what's going to happen, but it might be quite loud. Ooh, exciting. So yes, uh, checking the power is off before I plug it in. Yes, it is. Uh, let's uh, just pop that up here, plug the power supply in, and let's put this to the test. Uh, is this actually going to shop under this lighting shift over here a bit? Is it going to be... is it going to... really... Oh. Stay. Or would it be better with this lighting? I'm just trying to see what's uh, looking the best here. Yeah, you know what? Let's uh... I think like that. I think like that should be just fine. Okay, let's put that to the test. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, I think my Christmas lights have stopped working. It smells terrible. And the case is uh, apparently tried to open itself and there's smoke coming out of it. Can you see the smoke? Magic Christmas smoke. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Oh, uh, that must be what they're for, those little wires. They must be fuses. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's gone all black and sooty. Oh, dear. Uh, I wonder if I can repair that. Uh, hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and repair that and see if I can get it working again. Okay, I, I think I know what went wrong last time. I, I might have, uh, there might not have been enough electricity in it to actually make everything work. So um, uh, I'm going to try again. I'm going to plug this in, then switch it on, and we'll see if it works this time, maybe. So uh, let's see how that goes. Oh! Well, that just shows you how dangerous that Chinese shit is.